Hey everybody, since my last baking video, Mrs. Dick was not very happy with me. So she made me promise never bake again. Actually, she made me take a blood oath. That hurt. Now normally I would never break a blood oath, but a viewer sent in this recipe that she swears is easy enough for a dummy like me to make as long as I follow it. Ain't that sweet? It's nice to be thought of. Now I have taken precautions. First things first, Today is Sunday. I waited until today, the day of the Sabbath. So hopefully I can get some divine intervention from the guy upstairs. I also burnt some sage and waved around a crow feather. I even went as far as to lay a line of salt all around the kitchen, all around it, to keep the deep bacon demons out. However, I'm a dumbass and I use sugar and the dogs ate it. And now they're running around crazy on a sugar high. Damn dogs. Anyway. I have my holy water and I'm going in. Wish me luck. Okay guys, here we go. I'm gonna try this bacon thing one more time. Inside here, according to the recipe, I have one and one quarter cups of applesauce. To that, I'm gonna add two cups of sugar. There's one. There's two. I'm gonna put this on low, and then I'm gonna add three eggs that I painstakingly kept at room temperature. But you know it's not what you know is not like me to do. So while that's mixing, I'm gonna get my dry ingredients ready. Okay, so that's two cups of flour right there. And we're gonna do one and one half cups, te teaspoons, hello, <laughs> of baking powder. There's my one. Here's my half. Then we're gonna do one teaspoon of baking soda. Bam. Next is a half a teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon cinnamon. People don't realize how good for you cinnamon is. So by adding this teaspoon, I'm making this a health dish. It's good for your blood pressure, your circulation, everything. Now, at the request of Mrs. Dick, I'm gonna um, sift this. So it all goes through the sieve. We don't want it to get gloopy or nasty or anything like that. That's just salt. Bam. Okay, let's all right, let's add this. A little bit at a time. Thank God for mixers. I'm here to tell you, it was a workout grating these carrots by hand. Yep. All right. I'm gonna let that go for a minute. All right. Now we got a hand mix. So what I'm doing is just making sure that the bottom has got all the flour mixed in. Okay, so next comes one teaspoon of vanilla. One cup of chopped nuts. I'm using pecans. One cup of, I should probably get this a stir while I'm doing it. One cup of sweetened flake coconut. One cup of crushed pineapple and juice, not syrup. Two cups of hand grated carrots, which I'm here to tell you. 
was a workout. What do y'all think so far? Will today be a better day? Will this be my carrot cake redemption? <laughs> Time's gonna tell. So, we're gonna spray with Baker's Joy because it has flour in it. We're gonna spray it good. This. Oh, I got my third pan. This one might turn out after all. Now, I have to try and divvy it up equally in here. I'll show you what that looks like. That looks about right to me. Fingers crossed. We're going to go in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. 25 minutes, 25 minutes, until the toothpick inserted comes out clean. Please God. I wish you'd look around this kitchen. There's only one thing missing, smoke. No fires, and check it out. <gasps> ah, scram. All three of them, not one of them overflowed. Oh, all right, we're going to let these three little babies uh, cool completely, and then we're going to work on some frosting. Moving on to frosting. So, that's eight ounces of cream cheese and a stick of butter that I brought to room temperature, since that's a thing in baking, and I uh, am going to whip them up. Let's see how it goes. I saw once that you should whip the hell out of them. Get it nice and creamy. So I am gonna scrape down the sides and do it again. Scraping down the sides. So now I gotta add a pound of powdered sugar. I'm gonna do it a little bit at a time because powdered sugar would like to fill up this house like it was smoke. And Mrs. Dick is on high alert. Ooh, that looks good. I'm gonna add my teaspoon of vanilla. There we go. I'm gonna keep adding this. What it looks like when it's done. Alright, here goes nothing. It says put a healthy dollop the first layer. I'm going to do this and I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's all done. Let me turn this baby around for you here. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I'm officially now a baker. Bam. I'm not just a cook. I'm baking stuff. Mm, mm, mm. Carrot cake. She was right. This recipe was so easy, even I could do it. And that's really saying something because I really do challenge baking. So, I hope you like this video. If you do, give it a like. I hope you make it. I don't know how it tastes, but it looks awesome. So, leave a comment. Please subscribe to my channel. Love you. Peace out. Bye. Jimmy Dixon